Hey kids and welcome back to Sunday School. Well, today we're going to take you to the book of Exodus chapter 2. But just a quick question before that. How would you feel if your sibling was getting more attention than you? Would you help your parents with your siblings or would you cry? Wah wah. Because they're not paying attention to you. <sighs> Seems very hard. But today we're going to learn of the story of Miriam. That's right. She's Moses' sister, and how she took care of him at a very crucial time in history. Presenting to you the story of Moses. A long time ago, there was a man named Amram. He was a man from the Levite tribe, and he married a woman named Jochebed. Both of them were from the same tribe, Hebrew slaves, and they were forced to work for King Pharaoh the king of Egypt. Sometime later, they had a beautiful baby boy. But the baby was in great danger because Pharaoh was afraid that the Hebrew slaves were becoming too many, so he gave an order that all the baby boys born to Hebrew slaves must be killed. Now, Jochebed kept her baby hidden inside the house for three months. But as the baby grew older, he made all sorts of giggly noises, and this might drag the attention of the soldiers. And so, since Jochebed could not hide him anymore, she decided to make a basket of something that feels like grass. It's called reeds. And she covered it with tar. Then she put her baby in the basket and placed it in front of the tall grass at the edge of the Nile River. And there was a special spy, the baby's older sister, Miriam. She was standing at a distance to watch her little baby brother to make sure the basket does not toss over. At that time, one of the king's daughters came down to the river to take a bath, and she saw a basket in the tall grass, and she sent one of the young women to take it out of the river. When the princess saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, and she said, this must be one of the Hebrew babies. Miriam was watching quietly as her baby brother was discovered. Then, instead of thinking for herself, she ran up to the princess and said, Do you want me to find a Hebrew woman to take care of the baby for you? And the king's daughter answered, Yes. So Miriam brought her mother to the princess. The princess told the mother to take care of this child and she would pay her. So Jochebed took her own baby home to care for him while being paid for it. Years later, when he was old enough, Jochebed took the young boy to the princess who adopted him. And they named him Moses because, she said, I pulled him out of the water. Well, that's about it. That's the story of Moses. I'm sure you've heard this quite a number of times, huh? But today, we're going to focus on Miriam, the little girl who helped her sibling. You know, it must be really hard for Miriam, especially because she has her own work to do. And yet, she has to go and watch a baby brother float down the Nile. How boring and tiresome must that be? And yet she did her work faithfully. How many of us can actually help our siblings, especially when they just walk into our room, they don't do their chores, and they misunderstand you, they get angry with you? Well, it's simple. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 4, verse 21, that whoever loves God must also love his brother and sister in that accord. Well, none of us are perfect. But the only thing that we have to change in our thinking is not how much we get, rather how much we give. Here's a simple activity if you find it difficult to work with your siblings. The next time your sibling gives you a hard time, just do something nice for them and count it as a plus point one. Can you do five things before your sibling does something good back to you? Ooh, we all love a good challenge, don't we? So let's give it a try, starting today. In the end, the prayers of Jochebed and the obedience of Miriam saved Moses, and God was going to use their hard work for this little boy to be a blessing when Moses grows up and comes back to save the Israelites. Wonderful story, ain't it? Today, the verse that we have to remember is taken from Psalm 32, verse 7. You are my hiding place. 
you will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Let us remember that God is always there to protect us and that us being obedient to His cause may benefit somebody whom the Lord wants to use. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Well, let's get into the activity.